All right, everyone, we're back again. So today we're gonna be installing the saddlebag crash guards. That we'll be replacing this, and then they loop up to here. And I know some people are gonna say, but you know that that's a geezer glide. Old people do that. Hell yeah, I've I've seen it. I agree with you for old people, but sometimes function outweighs form and the fact that uh, you know when I lay my bike down again say so drop it it's probably more likely because let's be honest I've dropped it once or twice never while going real fast hell once not while going at all kind of forgot to put the kickstand down I laugh too hard some of you have done it no alcohol was involved so at least in my mind it's not going to be so bad because the ones I got are black. And I know the front crash guard is chrome. So it seems kind of weird to go black in the back. But my theory is they're going to blend in pretty well. So yeah, they're going to be there, but they're going to be less noticeable because they're not just going to be popping out at you just screaming, I'm chrome, look at me. So in the box, which that's the box, is a nesting, nesting doll of other boxes. Box here, box here, box here, all within that box. So, but everything came pretty well wrapped. Here's the actual crash guards themselves. Here's our hardware's bag, hardware bag. Here's our new bottom rails. So we're gonna have to pop off the ones that are there. Pop these on. This end goes in there. And then this end bolts to the top frame of the bike. This bolts somewhere else. We'll find out. I've never done this before. So the tools that we're going to need is going to be, I'm going to use a 3 8 inch ratchet. And we've got a 9 16 and half inch combination wrench or box wrench or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be using a T40 and a T45. Now I need this, not that you guys will, unless you're like me and, and have the chassis lights. So I'm going to have to cut some zip ties. So Got my snips, my handy bag of zip ties. We're going to get that replaced because under this rail, and you can probably see the zip ties, is an LED light strip under here. So we're going to peel that off, swap this out, put the light strip back on. I'm going to put the zip ties back on there because, you know, better safe than sorry. I did it the first time, and now that I'm going to be reusing them, it seems like a good idea to... Maybe put a zip tie on each end again, and then maybe one in the middle, just to make sure everything holds up, especially once uh, the heat shows back up in town. And heat and adhesive don't normally go well together, but at least now we get a nice shot of those uh, tab four and a half inch BAM sticks. Sounds so mean. All right, so I'm gonna end it before just shuffling you guys off to the tripod on your own. So I'm gonna start by clipping all my zip ties here. I do like zip ties. So much so that I'm gonna have to order some more. So like I said earlier, if you guys haven't done this, then you know, the chassis lights, then you don't have to do this step. So now let's go ahead and slide you out of the way because I'm going to need two hands to peel this off. All right, set that aside. Try not to now, get that too dirty on the garage floor here. Okay. So, go ahead and take you off the tripod. There we go. Now, for this bolt here, that should be, oh, point here, here, that should be our T45. And it is. And apparently my hex or my torch bits are all right i've said it before i'll say it again 
I am not a professional. So now we've got the correct socket wrench. finger all right so we'll keep going on that disconnect you here again and over here we've got another t45 and then right next to it is a t40 now in addition to that we also have a nut here which is where our combo wrench comes in that's going to be the 9 16 and then on the other side I'm going to be able to get the camera over there but if you can see it right about here it's the other nut and that's going to be your half inch so and we're going to have to go ahead and pull these two bolts so everything just kind of drop off just going to drop the, those not going to do anything up here so the muffler's just going to hang free for a little bit uh, while we get everything swapped over. And these I, uh, are half inch, so. All right, and we're back. So, got the bracket off. One thing I didn't realize was on the back side of this is another nine, what, nine sixteenths nut. So I was just sitting there spinning the Torx head, getting nowhere until I had an aha moment. Call myself an idiot. So here's the old one. So, and in this little spot here is this rubber guy. And he just pushes right out. A couple of thumbs, good to go. Just make sure you pay attention to the orientation. So you can pop it back in to the new one down there. And then your little muffler, your slip on support, slides right back in. No muss, no fuss. So we'll get that back on there and we'll be back. All right, and we're back again. Just got the bar on, all the way down and around, across and back in. Now, Harley, for whatever reason, they give you more than enough bolts and nuts and everything in, in this bag here to replace every bit of hardware in this process. I don't know why, sure as hell not gonna complain. But I just went ahead and reused what I had. We'll hold on to these for a rainy day just in case. Now, one thing I, I don't know why I didn't account for is this guy here. He is a 3 16 Allen head or X head or whatever. And a 7 16 nut on the backside connecting this sleeve to this rod. It makes sense. Just didn't occur to me that we'd have to have, have a mechanical connection there. So, it's looking good, it's feeling solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my LED strip reattached, tackle the other side, and next time you see it, the bags will be back on and we'll get a quick final look on it. All right, that's it, everything's back together. Here they are. They look good in my opinion. You know, they, they kinda camouflage in. They're not chrome, they're not flashy, you know, and I like them. Plus, it gives them somewhere else to grab if the bike goes down again. You know, it gives me something that protects my bags in the event that it goes down again. I've been lucky so far the two times I've set it down, not damaged anything other than like my pride or a little bit on a saddlebag or floorboard bracket. But all in all, real quick, real simple. Took me, I don't know. Excluding video time, 45 minutes. So something real easy with a basic socket set. So anyway, that that's it, takes care of it. So, all right guys, till next time, catch y'all later.